What's two against the wind ups, you said? Let me do this. Okay. I, I already know one card you can use against my I mean wind ups. I think we all know that card. Okay, yep, Torrential right. Trigger. Torrential is that card against wind ups. Like they spam too much. What? I remember top four locals. Uh he went off and when he summoned his last XYZ, I turned to and he scooped. Like Torrento wins games. They overextend they, too much. They really do. You have to overextend to win. So, like, when they overextend, it's over. Another card that's good. As mentioned in <laughs> everything we went over. The card of the format, Minecraft. Minecraft works, like, they have, when they go factory, because factory is still after you. I don't know why factory is still after you, but <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, when they factory, you Minecraft. Like, and even when they reveal shark, the most beautiful thing about Minecraft is you see their hand. So yeah, that's right. Like you know what's happening, you know what to play now. Like Minecraft is beautiful. Not the guy on the picture, but you know just the effect. Yeah, <laughs> another good card. Vela. Duh. Oh my gosh, Vela is good. You got, but you gotta know when to Vela. Yeah, like Vela. A well-timed Baylor is better than a better than a, a Herald of Orange Light. Like <laughs> a well-timed Baylor wins games. Mm -hmm. Um, goes in match. Baylor that Baylor the magician. Yes, always, always, always. And if needed, Baylor the rat. Goes in match. This card, if I'm going against uh, uh, wind up, I side two because like. They're, they're they're the most colorful deck in the world. Like fire, water, like wind. Come on, like if you're smart, if you're good at UV, you play this. Like or rivalry. Yeah, like it's too good not to play. Another card that I play. Mirror Force is like I don't main Mirror Force because I think the two defenses are better. But you side this, like it's I actually good. think. The deep prisons are slow against windups because they go off exactly. The, yeah, like Shockmaster Call Traps is so good. Mirror Force just wrecks it. Yeah, you stop them before anything. Um, this card can be good, but like I said, it's like okay, this is a card that if you side, you side, it's one decent. Up. Yeah, oh. Another card we haven't been for. Mm, we'll talk about it in the next deck. But anything else like Fossil Dino? This card is seeing a lot of play. Mm -hmm. This card is seeing a lot of play because, like, if you set it and you could save it, like, mm, destroy everything you just done. Like, set Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a, a dark hole. Like, if you don't have that Starlight Road there, it could gain. Like, and if you have the right protection, they can't get over it. Use lances, use um, fiendish chains, stop attacks, use mirror force, use anything to keep this guy alive. This right here, it's good. T King is good in, against windups. It's fairly decent. But the only way T King is extremely good on a field is if you have a face up attack or fossil damage. Or face defense. This is in short So game. they can't special summon and they can't yes. add cards to their hand. They can't search, they can't summon. Is there is none. Like this is anti meta to the foolish right here. Uh what's the next deck? Dark Worlds. Oh, Ooh, Dark, dark Worlds. Worlds. Dark Worlds, Dark Worlds, Dark Worlds. I used to read I love that. Yeah. Dark Worlds, Dark Worlds, Dark Worlds. Yeah, Dark, dark Worlds just get all the hate. All the hate. All the hate. hate. With all the soldiers, the hate in the game. Everything. All the hate in the world. Oh my gosh. Mm. Like, oh man. What is Dark Worlds doing this format? Like, I hate when people say that Dark Worlds are gonna do stuff. Put that card too. Like, put Let that me down tell you here. one thing. A card that I hate when people main deck. Abyss Dweller. This card should not be main deck. It should be sided. Like. Not everybody runs Mermills, not everybody runs Dark Worlds. True. Like, what are you gonna do against a freaking rabbit player? Huh? True. Like, you side this card and 
when you're facing. Like, it's not mean that. Don't you remember? You can side X Y Z cards. It's a part of you. Like, come on. So what's that? You said you you have a Vistor in, in your main deck, in your main extra deck, and you don't know what to take out for a Gaga Cowboy or a Shockmaster or a yeah. Utopia, Utopia Ray. Come on, Utopia Ray. I'll side that out any day. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. Dark World. We don't even have to explain. You side whatever you want. <laughs> whatever you want. The big, I say. Don't side too much though. Big four. Of course. Always. Kills every deck that relies on graveyard. Just kills it. Kills Mermos. Kills Dark World. That's the big four. Big four. This is actually like the big four side card that should be in everybody's side deck. Until something happens to these cards, like Konami limiting these guys or semi limiting, that too. This card is pro. Yes, I'm, I'm about to put two of those back in my side deck or something like this that. Card. I went against the new Teledad today. I had. New Teledad? Yeah, this Dark Synchro thingy. Wow. Yeah, and I had Shadow yeah. Imprisoning and Macros Cosmos on the field, and like, you couldn't do anything. Hmm. Okay. He kept, he kept trying to activate the crab bonds effect, and I was like, Shadow, bro. Okay. So, too good. on to the next deck. Agent. Well, Agent. do I need to bring this back? <laughs> <laughs> it could just stay there. <laughs> Agents are real good, but like... Mind Crush, maybe? Mind Crush? Earth into Venus? Yeah, Earth into Venus. Like, you go all the remove from play you can, like... Maybe? Yeah, like he can stop the search. Stop the Hyperion. Stop well, the yeah. Christia. Like this is what you need. Right. But yeah. not all of this at once. Just be smart of what you side. Yeah, another thing we have to here to talk about is After Chaos Dragons. The Chaos Dragons? Chaos yeah. Dragons, what do you side? I side. Side and mac macros. Stop the special summons. Chaos Dragons, honestly. Big beaters. Yeah, like Chaos Dragons. Still removal. You can side light and dark and prison them, depending right. on what deck you're facing, but not really. Heavy removal, probably. Yeah. Micros Cosmos is like your best bet. Master Core and Defender. Stop put, them. Put in that third, I'm putting that second torrential, take out that third M MST. Yeah, MSTs. We're gonna talk about what to side, how to side. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, next is what are good side cards and what are bad side cards. When you're siding against like a Chaos Dragon deck, man, do not use this card against Chaos Dragons. It's just <laughs> you don't do it. Don't do that. I mean, what are you doing? You shouldn't be playing the game. You're gonna do this. <laughs> when you play against Chaos Dragons. And like I run Mac, uh, Macro Rabbit, so if I'm facing against a Chaos Dragon deck, that means uh, Bird Decree automatically, like my Micro Cosmoses are coming out for D Fissures. Like, plain and simple, D Fissure wins games. Like, like I said before, if I go Rabbit in my hand and D Fissure first turn, like, how can you recover from that that fast? Like, it's too good, too good. And if and when I'm playing against like when I'm playing against a deck that I have to side in macro, you gotta know which side out too. I'm gonna give you a card for your player. So I use the, um in this deck I use where is he? Gear Gigano MK. I mean Gear Gear Gigano MK2. When you side in macro, side at least one of these out. Because this card is purchased some I know this card is purchased something from this hand, but you're really, you're really going to stretch something from the hand. You're almost 100% sure, or 90% of the time you're going to use this effect to stretch something from the graveyard. So since this card relies on the graveyard, you side one or two of them out. You may want to leave one in so you could get that stretch something from your hand, or if Mackerel's not on the field, you get it from the graveyard. But you may want to leave one in, you may want to take two out. Pop Everest. You're playing two macro cosmos, you might not want to use this card because you might not have five monsters in the graveyard. So you, 
Yeah, you might want to take that out. MSTs come out if you're playing Chaos Dragons. Yes. Yeah, so MSTs. If he if he sides in, if he doesn't run, you have to be smart. But yeah, if you're a trap heavy deck, they're going side and heavy with Royal Decree. Yeah, so you, you might leave MSTs. If he sides yeah. in three, then leave MSTs in because he knows he's side in Royal Decree. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to be smart of what you side, how much you side. Yes, like, if you're playing against Dark World, don't side in everything we showed you earlier at the same time, because you will lose. Yeah, you will. The key of siding, you do not mess up the flow of your deck, because, like, you want your deck to flow the same. Like, mm -hmm. You don't want to draw something bad. Like, if I side in, if I run a deck with no MSTs, and, like, I go against the Chaos Dragon, and the first thing I draw is, like, an MST, like, what are you going to do? If I open one thing, I always set out one warning because I don't want to open up first turn a warning like against like a deck that <laughs> warning first turn like isn't gonna do it. Warning second turn isn't gonna do anything for me. Like first turn is decent, like but second turn warning is like okay this is dead now. Like what am I gonna do? Like game three, I don't want to open up a second turn warning at all. Exceeds synchro siding. Yeah, most people do not exceed synchro siding. Like the uh, a best dweller, a best, a best dweller. He should be a side card. You should man gaga a cowboy. If you're siding out the uh, abyss, if you're siding a best dweller, like you should know what you're taking out. Like a card that doesn't help you that game, you should take out. Here's what I do in my deck. Me being the Gear Gear Card Fairy player, um, believe it or not, I side this. Why do I side it? I never go into a game one. Gear Gear Card Fairy players never go into this guy game one unless they're dueling their friend or somebody they really, really know and they really know their deck and stuff. You're going to a regionals or YCS, you don't know those people. You don't know any of them. So you don't know what deck they're playing unless they tell you beforehand, oh yeah. Um, I'm playing ninjas. Okay, call chaps. <laughs> yeah, but like, still, you have to re you have to turn in your deck slip on the day before or whatever, so you can't just take this outside and put an extra, but still. I side this card because I rarely go into a game one, and if I see that I'm playing against a deck that I'm going to need it in, then I just side it in. Usually what I do if I'm playing the deck that I need some side and macros, like I said, I take out... Because when I take out these two guys, I take out um, from my extra deck or a rank three guy like Soul of Silver Mountain or Zen Mains, and I just I'll just put the Shockmaster in. Cards that I don't put in my side deck. I play rabbits, so Acid Golem kills me. It's like a dead Acid Golem will assure you that game. Like it will kill you. Like game on your part. Uh. Three log years, I think that's too much. Two log years are it's just enough. And I've seen people run Pearl. Honestly, if I'm trying to win, I don't need Pearl. Like get him over the big monsters or just as like easy enough. Like you run the Levy Year, the Zen Games, the Leviathan, the Tim Temple, the two log years, the two Dolphas. The Peppa, the Mighty Stroke, the Utopia, the Roach, the, uh, the Shockmaster, the Stardust. And like, on the right now, I'm going to play the Cowboy because I got the uh, Cowboy is broken. Just saying. Like, I tested these three cards, and every time I played Lava Golem and Rabbits, it killed me. So <laughs> I took it out. It's plain and simple. And you also gotta know how many of a certain card you need in your extra deck. I've seen many players use three of these guys. You do not need three of these guys. You're not gonna use three of these guys in one match. You're not even gonna you're not even gonna bring them out more than three times a match. Usually, I, I rarely touch this guy unless I really gotta get sent to my hand. And even in those situations, I only use one of those one of these. But I will not. 
I will not take one out, so I only have one of these because when I use one of these in a bombless and I could go for another one, then I always have the other one. And that third one that people are using could be used for something else because no one's just gonna just uh saw morning uh compose. Oh, okay. What, like uh, uh, at least it'll get composed. Like, if it gets boundless, okay, that's one down. If it gets some, it's in your graveyard. But still, you're not going to need a dirt one, even if that happens. So, there's so many better cards you can use, like I said. And, you just gotta know how many of a certain cards aside, how many of certain cards you use in your extra deck, how many of certain cards you use in your main deck. All, all this stuff you gotta know. And... Well, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Yeah. Um, like, subscribe. subscribe. You know. J Flash XCBW, who are you? Merv 100. Look me up. My email is mervnsd at gmail.com. Look me up. You know, if this gets a lot of likes and subscribes, I'll put my rabbit deck in whatever deck you inbox us, what deck you want us to build in. We got it. Yeah. So, we out. Yes.